Hey, just putting together this video on a Saturday night. I want to thank uh, Sunas and uh, Ryan. So Sunas made this Mental Fish uh, quick selection set, and it basically saves your uh, selections. And uh, Ryan helped me with this auto hotkey uh, function. Um, so what this does is that it combines uh, the plugin and the script so it makes things well more automatically so I think yeah let's just do it uh, let's draw something and alright now it has saved nothing absolutely nothing but uh, oops, if I draw like that now can see that it's saved. Save the selection. Now, why is that? Hmm. It's basically because what I did is that I made a function that basically just says whenever you hold shift down and draw. So that will just trigger a shift Q uh, shortcut that I have. So Whenever you shift and draw, it will save. Um, now, of course, I could have just made it draw and save, but that's kind of bad because then when you draw outside here and save, because of you using parts, what would happen is that all of the parts would be gone. Uh, the only way to go, go around that is to use parts uh, point selection set. Uh, but um, for now, I'll just leave it like this. So uh, this can be very useful when making polygon selections on large objects and stuff like that. So now the minus, of course, with this method is that if you go like this and then try to click here and, and it's gone. Your selection is gone because you missed here or here or whatever. And actually, that's a flaw in the user interface design, I think. So uh, I don't think you should be able to deselect here uh, or, or right next to this one, in my opinion. Um, it's just too easy to lose that selection, really. And it's gone forever. That's a really annoying way we can like use you know many seconds or even minutes doing it. And then you go like, oh I want to shift the mode. And it's gone. Boring. Anyway, um so this is how it works. You draw, you hold down shift and draw more, and it's saved. Saved right here. So, uh, you guys might want to use that. 